I guess that's a bit of pills to swallow, yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> but it is as much a command from God as do not worry, God will provide all your needs. In the past few weeks, my videos have bothered around lessons learned with respect to the just concluded elections. And today, I'll be speaking about a prayer that trended months ago. And the prayer reads, May your life be like that of the candidate you vote for. Now, when I first heard this prayer, I thought to myself, this is a good one. And though I never prayed it on anyone, I felt it was a good prayer because um, I feel people should naturally associate themselves with what they are convinced is right and appropriate. So saying an amen to this wouldn't be much of a problem. However, whenever that prayer was made, some persons fume with rage and that is because it passes off to them like um, wishing them evil. Now that always left me in shock because I feel if you can boldly support a thing then you can as well embrace whatever comes with it. About a week after the elections, I had a conversation with Happy about that prayer and it so happened that the next day I was opportuned to fellowship with some of my siblings in the faith where we also analyzed that prayer. And by the time I was done, I then understood why that wasn't the prayer. So even when we feel people are not seeing or aligning with something right, instead of praying that they and everything that concerns them reap of the people which you strongly believe you can see in what they don't see or are supporting, it is best to pray God grant them light to see tables could turn yeah aside from that jesus said in matthew chapter 5 verse 44 that but i say to you love your enemies bless those who curse you do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you i guess that's a bit of pills to swallow yeah <laughs> but it is as much a command from God as do not worry, God will provide all your needs. We do not pick one and leave the other. We obey all and for everything God has asked us to do, there is power back in that instruction. So we draw, you know, from the well of grace to obey God. Like I said, when I first saw the prayer, I, you know, felt like nothing was wrong with it i felt it was okay the only reservation i had with respect to that prayer was when i started hearing um, diversified versions some people made those prayers and you know extended it to the generations of the people in the choices and i'm like why do you do that why do you include generations who you know were not even aware of the choices that were made i just felt everybody should reap from the choice they have made you know that was my thought but I thank God for his mercy and I thank God for the gift of brethren I thank God for fellowship fellowship is good it is beautiful when you're with the right people yeah God used it to help me so I'm putting this out here you know to encourage each and every one of us I don't know if there is anyone out there who still you know share same views like i initially did please if you still have same views i'm appealing that you have a renewed mindset you know and um look at that prayer again through the lens of god's word i sincerely pray that god sheds light in your heart just like you I am Goodness Godfrey, and this is True Life's Journey with Goodness Godfrey. I pray above everything else that our testimonies stand the test of time in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me once again.
until I see you next time. Bye now.